Hello everyone, welcome to Coders Camp. We are at the 19th day of April Late Code Challenge and the problem we are going to cover today is combination sum 4. The input given here is an integer array nums and a target value again an integer and we have to return the possible combination of ways we can form the target value from the given values in the nums array. So let's understand this problem with an example. Here is our given input array nums and target is equal to 4. The possible combinations we can form from this array's value are these 7 values. So the output we need to return is 7. So now the things we need to observe here is the possibility of forming 4 is 2 and 2 then adding 2 ones and 1 2. So here as this is a combination of the given numbers the repetition of the same set of numbers is applicable because we can put that in this form 1 1 2 also we can put 1 2 1 and the other combination we can make here is 2 1 1 so we should consider all three combination of the same repeated numbers so how are we going to approach so we have seen a similar problem which is coin change already in our channel where the input given is the different denomination of coins and we need to form the given target amount by considering any denominations of given coins it is very similar approach we are going to use the same algorithm and same logic here as well so let's get into the problem solution so before going into the bigger solution let's break this problem and solve it for a smaller solution and then go to the bigger solution so first consider our target is equal to one so we are going to start forming one with the given coins or given values so now if you see the values given are 1 2 and 3 straight away we can rule out the values 2 and 3 as they are greater than 1 and we cannot consider that for the combination so the only possible combination we can have 1 is 1 so overall to form 1 we have 1 combination so now moving on to 2 consider our target is equal to 2 and we have to form 2 from the given numbers Straight away we can rule out 3 as 3 is greater than 2. So now we can form 2 with 2 options by considering the value 1 and by considering the value 2. So if we are considering the value 1, we can do 1 plus 1. And if we are considering the value 2, we can have only 2 that is also 1 combination. So overall we have 2 combinations to form the value 2. So now moving on to our target is equal to 3, it will get clear now once we solve the solution for 3. So now I am going to form 3 with the given numbers. So we can consider all 3 numbers as 3 is the greater value. So now the possibility of forming 3 with the coins or the values 1, 2 and 3 are. So first we have the value 1. So to, we have to form 3. So now we formed value 1 and the rest of the value we need is 2. So we clearly know 1 is the value and we have to form 2. What are the possible ways? We can either go for 1 plus 1 or we can directly consider 2 given in the array. So overall, this is something that reflecting here. So if you see the combinations we got for 2 is the same. So now by considering 1 plus 2, the combinations we can form is 2. Now moving on to 2. So if we are considering 2 to form 3, the value we need extra is 1. So to form 1, the only possible value is 1. So by considering 2 plus 1, the combination is only 1. Now moving to 3. So if we want to form 3, the only possible way by considering 3 is 3 only because it satisfies the target. So here 1 combination. So overall, it took as 4 combination. Now moving on to 4 with the values 1, 2 and 3. So if we want to form 4 with coin 1 or with value 1, the rest of the value we need is 3. So here to form 3, we have 4 combinations. So overall, by considering 1, we can have 4 combinations. Moving on to value 2, the extra value needed from 2 to form 4 is going to be 2. So to form 2, the combinations we have is go to 2 this is the combination we need so 2 and 
with 3 we have the we need the extra value 1 so the overall combinations to form 1 is going to be 1 so now the only combination is 1 so overall we need 7 common we have 7 combinations to form 4 so hope you are understanding this concept so how am i telling there are four combinations by considering one so if we are considering this alone this four combination what are the possible combinations we have that is 1 comma 3 1 comma 2 comma 1 and 1 comma 2 comma 1 comma 1 and 1 comma 2 comma 2 So these are the four combinations we are actually representing here. So this is kind of messy. We are going to have a DP array to solve each sub problem at each stage and arrive at the bigger solution. So let's see a dry run before getting into the code. So here is our DP array representing the values 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 where this indexes represent the target value we need to form and we are going to fill in the values such that the number of combinations needed to form that target and finally we are going to achieve our solution here where a target is equal to 4 and the number of combination will be the value inside our dp array so we are going to start our array with value 1 at index 0 you will understand once we complete the iteration so now moving on to the next cell the value or target is equal to 1 and we need to form the target 1 with the given values. So start considering the values. We can rule out 2 and 3 by 1. You can form the only combination is 1. So how are we filling this value before understanding the pattern? So here the value you can form is 1. So from 0 you can add only one value to get to or to reach 1. So the only possible combination is adding 1. If you are not understanding you will understand once we reach the value 3. So now the next target is 2. So to form 2, let's start considering the values starting from 1. So from 1, what are the possible combinations here at the place 1? It is a only possible combination. So we are going to put 1 plus moving on to the next number or next value 2. So by 2, the only option you have is considering only 2. So that is another combination. So overall you need two combinations to form two. So now coming on to three it will get clear now. So now the target is to form three with the given values one, two and three. So first start considering with value one. So we have one in hand and the rest of the value we need is two. So to form two what are the possible combinations? So at two the possible combinations are two. So we are going to consider two plus so now moving on to our next value which is 2. So to form 3 we have 2 in our hand. So what is the rest we need? We need 1. So at 1 what is the possible combination to form 1 is 1. Hope I am not confusing you. So now moving on to the next value 3. So to form 3 we have 3. So the only possible value is 3. So we are going to add 1. So how we are adding? If you have 3. The rest of the value we need is 0. So at 0, to form 0, the possible combination is going to be 1. So we are adding that here. So overall, we got 4. So finally, moving on to 4. So we want to form target 4 with the given values. So the first value given here is 1. So if we have 1 in our hand and we want to form 4, so the rest of the value we need is 3. So to form 3, the possible combination at the place 3 is going to be 4. So we are considering 4. So the next value is 2. So to form 4 from 2, we have 2 in our hand. The rest of the value we need is 2. So at the place of 2, the combinations to form 2 is 2. So we are considering 2 again. So finally, we are moving on to the value 3. So we have 3 in our hand and the target we need to form is 4. So having 3, the extra or the rest of the value we need is 1. So to form 1, the possible combinations are at the position 1 is 1. So overall, we have 7 combinations with the given values 1, 2 and 3 to form the target 4 which is actually our output. So we are going to return the value at this position once we fill the values at all the cells of our array dp. So hope I made it clear this time. So we are going to iterate this dp array and fill this array for 
the target value given and the number of values given in the nums array. So overall it is going to take big O of t into n where t is the given target value and n is the number of elements given in the nums array. So let's go to the code now. So yes we are going to have our tp array of size target plus 1 because we are going to start with the value 0 and our target is the actual value we needed. And I'm assigning dp of 0 is equal to 1. And I'm iterate through my given array because we are going to consider each target from 1 to the maximum target given. And for each target, we are going to consider each value given in the nums array. So first, I'm going to fill my dp array. So at each cell, I'm going to add the values at dp of i minus n. So i is actually the target value and n is the given value in the numbers. For example, our target i is actually 3 and the value we considered is 1. So we got 1 in place and the rest of the value we need is 2. So we are going to check at the position of 2 that is dp of 2 and get the value and add it to the value at that position. So now before filling the value I am going to check the basic condition that if i minus n is greater than or equal to 0 because if the given value is 5 and the target we need to form is 4 we cannot consider 5 at all for the combinations. So yes, once it is filled, we want to get our solution at the last cell of the dp array and finally we are going to return dp of target. So yes, solution is done. So let's run and try. So let's submit. Yes, the solution is accepted. Hope you understood the solution and I made it clear. So thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, hit like and subscribe. I'll see you in next video. Thank you.